Hey there guys, today let's try it out, try hack me boot to root challenge or convert my video. So basically this one is my script to convert videos to mp3 is super secure. Let's try and find out, is it really secure? So over here, we we'll try to check, is there any port open for it first? We use nmap to check it out. SS, we run the, what's this called already? <laughs> to scan the open port now. We try to check using stealth scan. Okay, over here we found out part 80 and part 22 is open. So let's try to browse into the website first. Okay, basically over here, call my video. Okay, we try and see the source code first. There's nothing very much over here. We try to see the JavaScript first. So here it posts to this one and then YouTube.watch This one is a link and then the YouTube ID So basically, when we put our value over here it appends into here and then post it into this part something else running in the background So, let's try and check see can we exploit this one Put something else like this because we want to get an error message and then the subject convert and then send it to repeater send it out this might take a while because the website is kind of slow I don't know why now man let's wait let's wait for a moment at the same time let's try to use FFUF to fast all the possible hidden directory after the in the UI the, in the IP so here fast share word list we use this word list to fast it so put it over here first see this one's going to take a while I don't know why now we, we wait for it hmm. so I think I need to close this one first so here we found an admin it means the another hidden directory. So I status for one. This thing's like unique. We need to have a credential to access it. Yeah, it's true. It's a basic authentication. Put it in. Me try and see. Can we access it with a default credential? It seems like it doesn't work. Now my go here. Let me see. Authentication failure. Click them out. Nothing much over here. Just wait to wait for a while. Something is kind of slow there. I don't know why. Now, man, we try to enumerate the outputs over here. Enumerate, enumerate. Is this one still running? Now, man, we let it run. This one's, this one's still running. Image. I'll try to ping the box and see first. Hmm. It's quite a high latency. Still didn't get anything else. Come oh on, cancel it out. We put double semicolon. We want to get error message. Okay, now you get error message. This one is SH, right? SH seems like it has a cute some comma behind there. So if you put this one semicolon, semicolon, it seems like SH can't execute this command. So we try to use a Let's assume that something else running over here in front there, in front of this part. So we put a semicolon to stop it, and then run another command over here. We put id, chance it can be run or not. These ones are gonna take so far. Never mind, let's wait for it. So basically, over here, we found a time folder, JavaScript folder, and image folder. Time folder. Try to see can we access, access into the time folder or not? Seems like something else behind over here. We can access it. It's forbidden. Edit image. Oops, I think there's an S over there. Same forbidden. Okay, so there's a result. See over here, I put ID right. The first part it doesn't work because you it, it used to YouTube DL to download the video down to convert into mp3 then i put a semicolon to execute another command it seems that it works the output is 
your ID 33 so this is the ID for it since like we can use this one to abuse it to execute the command reverse eh, remotely so over here let's try to check and see is there anything else over here no put ls minus l a no minus a send it out again we wait for it to re return reverse the result okay this is gonna take a while hmm Seems like the box is kind of slow right today. Never mind. We'll try to enumerate that over here first. See anything else? Okay, okay we got our result. So it shows that ls only, but the minus a over here it doesn't execute. It seems like something wrong with the space over here, white space. We use that this time. We can chance it can be as escape from it. And it's running. Never mind. Try and see anything else over here or not. Check the cookies. Still have a reply back. Check the cookies. Storage. Cookies, nothing else over here. Okay, inspect. So, so there's a code for it. Okay. The result return back again. So, we use this part to execute a command. It seems like it works. So this is all the files at the server side. So this is a temp folder, this time we found out. And then there's an admin folder. Now seems like we can't access into the admin folder because it needs pass the password for it to access. So in this case, let's try to access into the admin folder. And then read if there's anything else in there or not. That might give us the the credential for it. Then we wait for it for a while again. This might take us a while. We try to enumerate over here. Okay, JavaScript. Read the JavaScript. Mm, nothing else much over here. Okay, we got a result here. So, okay. Inside the admin folder, we found HT access, HT password. So basically, for basic authentication, all the credentials they store in HT password. So in this case, let's try to read the content in HT password. Okay, we read it. So we read all the content in the HT password to get our credential for it. Wait for it to return our result. It's gonna take a while too. Now maybe we wait for it first. Okay, we got a result. So we found our credential over here. The username is it's me eight me. And this is the hash for the password. So we try to chance we try to crack the password using Rakio. In this case I'm gonna use John to crack it. But before that Go to the spot first, then equal hash, put into hash for hash file, and then I launch my John with this, with this, rockq.dst, then I put my hash. Okay, so we got a password for the hash, the password is Jesse. So let's try and check and see is it correct or not. Let's try and see if we can access it. So the username is it's me admin. It's me admin, right? Okay. It's me admin. Then the password is just see. Okay. And voila. We access into there already. So in this case, let's try to launch our interception. I press clean. And then it seems like over here there's a get request over here. It requests it seems like the command. It remove force forcefully to remove the file inside the download. So let's try to send to the repeater and then we remove this part to get our reverse shell. 
in this case I'm going to close down my proxy first okay in this case we're going to find reverse shell cheat sheet in one of my favorite website is Pentest Monkey or the reverse shell cheat sheet over here so over here we need to use PHP this one go into my decoder and then I need to change my IP what's my IP really? I'm trying to back again I pop it okay this is my IP 10.9.23.162 3.162 then my port this is my port I'll put this port I need to decode it and encode it as a URL so place it over here and then we launch our listener okay and then we send okay so voila we got our reverse shell now I'm gonna upgrade my reverse shell into a more stable reverse shell. And then export term into X term. Okay, clear. So oh here yeah, we found our first flag. So we try to enumerate again over here. Try to check and see is there anything over here in the time file. It seems like there's a script over here. Okay, the script is rmfrf downloads. It removes all the things inside downloads. So, now my friend can see the home directory. You can find anything else over here now. Okay, we found a username, which is a DMV. Chance it chance is an anything else over here now. It seems like nothing over here. And we can't read the bash history since, since like we, we are not the user for it. Now, my in this case, I'm going to use a script to check is there any far is there any process running uh, behind there like for example like any cron job running behind there not to execute a command or script periodically each minute or something like this in this case I'm going to use this script PSPY so I'm going to host my server first and then I'm going to download it over here. PSPY. Okay, I got my file right. Let it download first. Okay, I got my file. And then search mod plus x PSPY. So we run our script. Let's wait for a while to let it run. We want to find anything else running periodically, not behind there. Okay, it seems like we found something else running as a root user UID 0. Bash, run bash, var, clean the SH. This is now the file in the temp folder. Since so, so, this one it executes as a root user, right? It executes as a root user. We try to use this part to privilege escalate. So, over here, I put my reverse shell first, the listener. Okay, this one I need to terminate this first. Terminate. Terminate it. Launch it again. Okay, bear in mind first. Okay, TMP. Okay, this one. Now I want to replace the script in there with my, my script to give me the reverse shell. Here I'm gonna put the shebang first. Transish. Okay, I call again. Over here I put dash uh, now we wanna use this uh bash method to re return my reverse shell. Then my port for one and then zero one. Oops. I need to clean the SH. Okay, get then clean the SH. So this is the, the command over here. So let's wait for the the root user to execute the clean the SH script. 
then when it executes, it will give us the reverse shell. And my netcat is going to respawn over here. Let's wait for it first. Check and see. Okay, it's 10. Oh, okay, so we got the root user. So, cd root. So, we can access the root file and we are the root user. Same. So, that's all for my video today. If you like my video, do subscribe my channel for more video like try hack me or wow hub something like this. I will try to launch more walkthrough in the future. If you like this video, do like my video too. Thanks guys. Bye.